My name is Deborah White Plume. I'm Oglala Lakota from Pine Ridge Reservation, the Great Lakota Nation. I'm here today to tell President Obama, the Great White Father, and the government of the United States of America that we do not want this pipeline in our 1868 Fort Laramie Treaty Territory, a treaty that was ratified by the United States Congress, a legal binding international document of law. We have, under the United Nations, the rights of the indigenous people, which requires free prior informed consent before any mining or desecration of lands, air, water, people can occur in our territory. We did not give free prior informed consent for TransCanada to bring this pipeline through our beloved Mother Earth in our area of this country. This pipeline will cross our water pipeline on the Pine Ridge Reservation, Lower Brule Reservation, Rosebud Reservation. These are the only Lakota people on Mother Earth. We have no island where we can send for more Lakota people if our people are killed off by this oil contaminating our only drinking water source. This pipeline will cross hundreds of surface water, river, water. We believe that it is against Mother Earth, it is against our sacred water. We cannot have this pipeline in our territory. We are human beings, the two-legged. We live with the four-legged, the winged, the standing silent nation, the plants. We are part of the environment. There is no line separating human beings from the environment. I stand here today to ask the Great White Father to say no to this pipeline, for him to defend our people, defend our water, defend our land, defend our animals and our birds and our plants. Say no to this pipeline that is killing the people where the oil comes from of the First Nations in Canada. This is genocide for First Nations people. The American people should not have to choose between jobs and wrecking the environment forever for our seven coming generations. So I ask you all to remember the word, mitakuye oyasi. It means all my relations. We are all related on Mother Earth. We all need to stand together for Mother Earth now because Mother Earth is crying. Our Lakota prophecy tells us when Mother Earth cries, we stand up and we fight for her, or she will die and we will die with her. So I ask everyone to remember, crying Earth, rise up. Rise up with Mother Earth. Rise up and say no, no to this pipeline, no to death. No, no, no. Thomas Meyer, please.